rocket. Okay, then you just push the rocket onto it. You see, that's it. You've loaded it. Put the nose cone on. First thing we're going to do is shoot it straight up in the air. We got to find out its launch velocity. We got to find out what it's launching in. So we're going to time it. We need a timer. Who's our timer? One of you guys can time, please. So when you see it launch, you got to be quick in the draw, okay? Boom! And then when you see it, remember, coming down and hits, boom! Got it? Let's move this way a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. thank you. I beat it with rockets Get ready here. Here we go. Keep pumping. Watch your face. Don't lean over the rocket, please. There it goes. Did you time it? Watch yourselves. Watch yourself. No. It was in the air, straight up for 2.61 seconds. Okay. okay, now, Mother Nature, as soon as that was blasted off, she slowed it down 10 meters per second every second. So that means it blasted off at 26.1 meters per second. Does that make sense? So what we do now is obviously in paper, the kids will do this, but it launches at 26. 0.1 meters per second. We're going to take the wedge over here, okay? And now we know it's launch speed, right? So that's what's consistent about it. Now you know the launch speed. And you can have them put up several times to see if it, you know, more, more trials, right? Then you take this wedge, okay? And you're going to place it in here. So we're going to figure out this, this distance. 45, with me? I know, but you got to figure out how far it goes. So it's 45 degrees, so it's opposite over hypotenuse, which is Soka Toa, which is sign, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds right. You're saying that, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, 26.1 <laughs> times, okay, 0.707, okay. So that means it's about 15. So that what that means is it's being shot up like this at about 15 meters per okay. second. Does that make okay. sense to you? 15 meters per second. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that means it takes 1.5 seconds to get up there at this angle. And we can do the math for it, but that's what that means. And so it took 1.5 seconds to get up there. That means it takes three seconds to go the entire the entire distance. Okay. Okay. So three times 26.1. It's going to go 78 meters. Is that right, Dave? hit me. I had to step out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. Really want to to <laughs> I think the nice thing is that you can figure, because it's so pretty much accurate, yeah. Yeah. you can go out and pre-test it and then you'll know how far it's going to be. You can yeah. pick a safe area before you even sure. go out with the kids sure. because it's pretty much the same every time. Yeah. It's not like a rocket that's going to be different every yeah. time you go out. So that's, that's and nice. I, I was telling Rich, we, uh, we afterwards, afterwards we, uh, we do field goals in the fifth football field. <laughs> <laughs> Where should you put it for 40 yards?